August uh, 15th, 15th, yep, that's right, and uh, had a viewer request, Sharon had requested to see the guns, so there you go, Sharon, there you go, have fun with that. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about meditation first since we kind of blew it on that yesterday. Well, we didn't blow it. We got, I was going to say we got blown by the wind, but that would not be HR appropriate. One thing I wanted to talk about though, about the meditation, is it helping? You know, if it's, is it even worth it? You know, I've been doing it, what, uh, six days now. Is it doing anything? Am I seeing results? The answer, yes, um, absolutely. Definitely, definitely more focused during the day. Um, and just can make decisions just without even thinking about it. Just, I know what I want to do. You know what I mean? So it, it's definitely been good in that sense. Yes, I, I definitely have been enjoying it. Today was a struggle though. I, um, woke up and I was trying to find a place. I went to my normal place to go meditate and, you know, people were moving around. It was kind of loud. Couldn't really settle in. Um, tried turning up my headphones and it really didn't work. Uh, so I actually just gave up there, drove to work early i mean i was already going there early so i can go run my my six miles before work but i wanted to get there and just do it before my run real quick in the car because nobody's gonna mess with me in the car right so got my meditation done in the car about 15 20 minutes worth it was good it was actually really good it was nice and quiet i, I want to say it was john had mentioned momentum in his last video and and it's definitely true actually it's definitely true I definitely need to keep keep it going so, I mean, one of the things I, I realized, so I was doing the video from Missouri and one of the articles had indicated that the plant-based, AKA plant-based meat or, you know, fake meat uh, industry is now five billion, it's $5 billion a year industry. That's huge, it's a huge industry and it's growing still. So yeah, momentum, correct. We, yeah, things are changing for sure. Slowly but surely things are getting better and slowly but surely we are winning. Um, I was listening to a podcast on my run this morning with Dr. McDougall, and, and I didn't know know this until I listened to the podcast actually, but he had, he's retired, he's no longer practicing medicine, so he's not like seeing patients, but he's still obviously doing podcasts, so uh, anyway, he was talking to a doctor that was in New Zealand, uh, ooh, I forget his name, I want to say Luke Wilson, I want to say Luke Wilson honestly was his name, Dr. Wilson, but I might be wrong on that. Either way, he's in New Zealand. That's the uh, the Happy Vegans neck of the woods. Link to her channel up there. And I was talking to somebody about weight loss today. Uh, sh shoot, I don't remember who it was. Uh, maybe Sharon, maybe it was Sharon. And we're talking about how she was trying to lose weight and she had lost some, she's proud of that. And then the, the doctor, whoever it was, basically saying it's not enough, more or less. And I was trying to, to tell her that as long as it's Slow and steady is fine as long as it's consistent. If you if you want to go a, a lower or a slower route, I should say, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're consistent with it and you're eventually going to hit your goal. Um, I know for me, when when I first started losing weight, when I switched to plant-based diet, it was pretty quick. I got to be honest, like for the first month and a half, probably I lost like half a pound to a pound a day every single day it just kept going I, I eventually just stopped at a point and then stayed there for like a long time until i really got into running and then i kind of dropped below that but that's that's normal so slow and steady is fine mine definitely was not slow and steady um but consistency is the key that is the key but back to the podcast so they're doing this study in new zealand they, they come up with these results but the, the second thing that they noticed about the study in, or not necessarily the study in New Zealand, but New Zealand in general, is people are kind of catching on faster just because it's a small community. They're isolated out there. So word spreads faster, basically. So when people start doing this stuff and feeling better and getting off their medica medications, the word does spread faster. So that's, that's interesting, but good for New Zealand. Uh, let me see here. One thing, oh, um, straight edge vegan bell millet and buckwheat what do i do with it mostly two things uh so l let me start with buckwheat buckwheat <clears throat> excuse me buckwheat i don't uh eat alone I, I don't eat by itself i always mix that with something typically i mix that like in a multi-grain type of deal so um as an example 
One that I do would be um, like a third of a cup of buckwheat, a third of a cup of quinoa, a third of a cup of millet, and then a cup of rice. So you got two cups of stuff all together. Rice on one side and then the other three on the other. Add three cups of water, put it in your uh, rice cooker and good to go. So that would be one example. And then on, with that, you can basically do whatever you want. If you want to add whatever seasonings you want, if you want to add, you know, garlic or onion or whatever at that point, that's just kind of like a base, you know, you can go from there. But I definitely use millet a lot more than buckwheat for sure. Buckwheat's good and it gives things like a really good woody flavor, which is, you know, nice occasionally, but it's not something that I eat super often. I definitely eat millet more. Um, and millet, I find, yeah, you're right in the sense that it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor by itself, but it does season pretty good. In fact, a lot of stuff that I use it for would be like, I'll put in, you know, two cups of millet in the rice cu cooker and then one to two like red potatoes chopped up. I'll throw some onion in there and then some seasoning like, um, go for like Mexican style seasoning, so like taco style seasonings. Um, and then put like salsa on top of that when it's done. And you could even put it in like corn tortillas and put a little bit of salsa on that. It's really good. Or some black beans as well. So another example that I might do, have them written down here, would be like one cup of rice, half cup millet, half cup quinoa. That one's good. And again, you can pretty much do whatever you want with the seasonings. And then you can also do like for millet, if you didn't want to use the potatoes or for whatever reason, you could do like black beans instead. You can do corn. It does really well with that. Sweet potatoes does really well with sweet potatoes. Some squashes. Um, and you can kind of add the buckwheat in there when you're using the squashes too, because it kind of adds that woody flavor along with the squash and then the millet. So it's it's definitely good for that. I don't know. There, there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Just try it out and see what uh, what you like best. I definitely millet potatoes together. That's what I usually do anyway. Okay, and last thing we wanted to talk about, I know this has been kind of a long video here today. This picture, by the way, I, sorry, this picture, by the way, I took uh, about an hour and a half from where I live. Pretty cool place. And it was just the perfect day where I can get that mirror shot, so that was cool. I got a bunch of them that day, actually. I might have to use another one in a different video. But last thing I wanna talk about was running. So I did go running today, as I mentioned yesterday in the video. There's so much smoke in the air that it's been really hard to run, obviously. Um, but I did run six miles today before work, and you can definitely still feel it. It's definitely not, you know, perfect out there, but it was better than the day before. It, so it definitely was a little bit easier to breathe. It's just when you go and you want to take that big, deep breath, it's just not there. <laughs> it's just not there. Um, but I learned that when I first moved out here, because where I used to live in Portland, it's like sea level, it's like elevation 200. So then when I moved out here, elevation's like, what, 2800, something like that. So yeah, big difference uh, in, in that too. But you get used to it, you acclimate eventually. But I don't think I wanna acclimate to the smoke, I want that to get the hell out of here. That's gonna do it guys, uh, vlog is 15th. Thank you everybody for watching, thank you everybody for your support. Hit the like button if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Post some comments down below, guys. Till next time, take care.